welcome to the Simple Construct Skinner Blend tutorial. I'm going to show you how I do the Skinner Blends uh, as demonstrated in my book and in my video series. I use a 5cm by 8cm bit of perspex, a roller and a tissue blade with a very very sharp edge. Be very careful of that sharp edge. So for a 5cm by 8cm template you're going to need approximately one quarter of a block of Sculpey to create, to easily create that template. Take each piece of clay and then just gently flatten them a little bit, not too much, just enough so that they fit through the pasta machine easily. And voila, nice and flat. Put your template on the clay and then you're going to want to trim around the edges of the template. Once you've finished trimming, then just simply separate the clay from the perspex and do exactly the same with the other colour until you have two perfect rectangles. Place one rectangle directly on top of the other rectangle. Do not push down, just put it there gently. Then you want to make a cut and you want to cut from corner to corner for a perfect graduation or if you leave a little bit of a gap on either side, you'll end up with a bit of original colour on either end. But I don't want that, so I'm just cutting from corner to corner. And this is how you build your rectangle, with one colour in one corner and the other colour in another corner. So sunshine on sunshine, denim on denim. But I'm going to take my roller and I'm just going to push them down in an effort to make them stick together. This doesn't always work, but don't worry, as long as um, you put it through the blending machine correctly, you'll be fine. So there's a bit of a gap there in between, you can see, but it's okay. So I'm putting it the long edge through first. I'm just going to do this once, and as you can see, it's, it doesn't look great, but it's actually pretty much perfect how I want it. So I'm going to fold it up or down, never side to side. Not like that, no, definitely not like that. So up or down, so I'm going to fold it down and gently push down the edges. Now I'm going to put it through the long side first, always the long side first. And I'm also going to just squeeze slightly on the edges as I put it through. If you don't squeeze, if you just put your Skinner Blend through any old way, it will eventually just get longer and longer and longer and become completely unmanageable. So I just pinch the edges in order to control it as it goes through. And I do that every single time I put it through the pasta machine. This may feel quite unnatural to begin with if this is your first time doing Skinner Blends, but it is very important to control it as it goes through the rollers. The other thing to mention is that when you're doing Skinner Blends, you'll notice as you progress through it creates these bands of colour, and you want those bands to match up when you fold it. You don't want them to be off to the side like that, so you want them to be straight on so that the colours are blended equally. I think it is worth mentioning at this point that there is no set number of times that you need to put a Skinner Blend through the rollers. It can be anything from 5 times to 100 times to 50 times to you know whatever you want. It's, it's a creative process so you can put it through the roller until you come out with, with something that you can say hey yes this is exactly what I want. So my Skinner Blend recipes in the book and in the video series I never stipulate how many times it needs to go through because it needs to go through as many times as you want it to go through until you're happy with it basically. And once you're happy with where it's at, just take it out, have a look at it, looks good, take your tissue blade and then give it a good trim. You don't have to give it a good trim, it entirely depends what you intend to use it for, but it makes me feel good when it looks good, so I like to trim my skin a bit. And there you have it. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, you can simply write below in the comment section or you can send me an email. Details are all in the detail box. Cheers! Thank you.